channel I am a reseller on Poshmark and I have done a little thrifting over the past half week and I want to show you some of what I got the first place so this might be a little it might be a little bit long you can stay busy you're doing something else while you're listening but I, I feel like I got a lot of good stuff I think I don't know I really don't remember so let's let's dive right in here my first stop was the Brunswick Georgia Goodwill outlet which is about an hour south of me in the Savannah Georgia area so I spent $25.45 there. Their cost is $1.59 a pound. I got just over 15 pounds and their sales tax rate is only like 6%. So that is, I appreciate that. Uh, the first item I got was a beautiful spring dress. It's a maxi dress with a pleated lower half. It's mauve pink, white polka dot, size 14, new with tags. And won't that just be beautiful on someone for Easter or church? So I was really happy to find that. Then I got a pair, these are off season, but they're the kind of socks that you just, they're not socks, but they're like leg warmers that you would wear underneath your boots and then that peeks out at the top. I don't, I think that was a trend a while ago that's probably passed, but I don't know, they're cute. I think also, can you wear them like over tights as a dance accessory too? This is a dress or a long line tank. It's boho embroidered. It's a warm tan. It has straps at the back, which I appreciated were adjustable by button. And then elastic at the upper back. This says size large. I think it's more like a medium. I'll measure it. But the brand is Love Sky. And I thought with summer coming up, just a cute festival, farmer's market, coffee, you know, that sort of thing. And then this is Temple Paris. And I don't know if this is a beach cover-up or something you would wear like with a dress, but it has a single wood button and then cuffable sleeves with a wood button. It has kind of a gauze finish. It's linen. It says size small slash medium. If it is, it's a really relaxed fit, but what a great, great piece and also new with tags, suggested retail, $89.99. Then I got a Victoria's Secret pink sports bra. It's hot orange with this kind of small cutout repeating pattern at the bottom has the brand logo there uh with victoria's secret pink it either sells for me right away or literally can take years to sell so we will see how that piece does this item i was on the fence about the brand is daylight i think the size is medium but it's a black mesh top with sheer with solid sleeves and then a solid bra form inside but if someone is looking for that kind of thing, I think that is cute. Very cute. And then Chico's is one of my bread and butter go-to brands. I always pick up Chico's unless it's in crappy condition. This is in good condition. It is a sort of relaxed fit cardigan in a lime or chartreuse green. Uh, decorative side pockets. The knit is kind of a raised, squared off knit. But Chico's does me well. I like buying Chico's. So that is what I got at the Brunswick outlet bins clothes wise. I didn't go through the clothing bins. They were chock full. There were a lot of people there. And you know what? Sometimes I just don't have the energy to dig. So I peeked around. I just went and pe I peeked and dug. Um, but I did dig the shoe bins really well. And I will show you that is actually most of what I got. Lauren Ralph Lauren foam wedges. I cannot see the size on these, but I tried them on. I wear an eight, eight and a half. These just, just, just fit. So I'm gonna size these at seven and a half because that would leave the wear, the wearer, wearer a little bit of room at the toe and the heel. But they are in, I'm gonna wash them up a little bit. They're in excellent condition. Or great, good, good, good condition. Then I got a pair of Oka B, which, mm, <laughs> They are gray, just flip-flops. Okabe makes excellent flip-flops and ballet flats. They have a website that you can see all their different designs on. But this is just a neutral gray with a beige iridescent flower. They're size medium large, which is I think a 7-8. And they are in good condition. Once I wash them up, they will look great. Then I got a pair of, oh, my shoes are falling on me. These are size seven. They are a burgundy velvet. Really cute for winter. The brand is Curfew, they're size seven. 
there's a little bit of wear to the sole, but they are in otherwise great condition. And then I got a pair, so the rest, actually let me show you these first. Everything after this is Walmart shoes. There's not a ton of them. I got these Lulus. I did not know Lulus made shoes. They're size 11, uh, vegan, silver, metallic, slide on. But I want to take this opportunity to show you what else I got in the mail yesterday. So this is a shoe insert from Amazon. And usually if I was trying to sell the shoe, I would struggle to get this part to stand up to display. So I got these the other day and the reviews were good. They said the insert was a smaller size, which I believe it is, but look at that. So now I can buckle that and display it and a buyer can see how it actually would be on there. So I was really happy to get them. They were $9.89 with tax for one pair. So they will be great for displaying shoes like these. And then the Walmart shoes I got were all new with tag. They were all priced at $6.99 or $5.99 at the regular Goodwill and didn't sell. I sell, let me just tell you really quick, I've sold probably three or four pair Walmart, which is like time and true, no boundaries shoe brand over the last couple months. And I post them whether they're new with tag or not. And I usually do find them new with tag. They sell within a week, sometimes right away, two, two weeks. They sell really fast. So they definitely have a buyer. I mean, I don't get a lot for them. I'm usually pricing them 10 or 15, depending, but they sell and I'm making money on them. So this pair is just like a lilac purple braided. Then I got these two pair, and these are all in varying sizes. I'm not going to bore you, make you listen to that, but these are just a twist tie slide on, one in black and one in yellow. And then I got two pair of these in black, and they're like a flip flop with a cushiony toe separator. And then I got two pair of the same in lime and two pair of the same in white. So basically like that, but they're all new with tags and I am happy to have them and post them. I feel like everything I got at the Brunswick Goodwill outlet was season appropriate, except maybe for the sock inserts and the Chico sweater. But even so with the Chico sweater with spring weather, I think someone could wear that as a layering piece. So that is what I got at that location. Let's look at the next location. location I went to is St. Fran Saint, Saint Francis Thrift, St. Francis Thrift in Brunswick, Georgia, and I spent a total of $22.26, $1.26 of that was tax, and I got six items. So the first item I got, my very favorite brand to buy, Lily Pulitzer. These were $3. They're the beach pant in a navy blue. They're size large. They're wide leg. They're 100% linen. They do have a little bit of wash wear and there is some pilling between the legs. I may have to get my pill shaver and shave out. Um, I don't wear this style of pants or I would keep them for myself, but I mean, you can't go wrong, right? The next item I've bought to span twice before and both of these pieces are still sitting in my closet. So I'm not sure why I purchased this shirt. It's Adrienne and it's just a light flowy pastel multicolor tunic. This was $5. It is new with tag, I think is why I picked it up. But Adrienne, I get likes on it. It hasn't sold for me yet. So now instead of two pieces in my closet, I will have three. The next item is a Jay McLaughlin white casual button down shirt. I do sell this brand fast. It always sells, not necessarily fast, but it always sells. That was $5 at size medium. Just a lightweight sort of slub knit cotton button down. The next item I was happy to find, so I got, I don't know if you watched the video I did the other day from the Savannah Georgia bins, but I got a J. Crew tankini top in a blue and white seersucker, and that has already sold. I posted it, and it sold at full price the next day. So this is also J. Crew. It's $5. It's a navy blue swimsuit. Um, a little high cut on the legs, not too much, but it's navy blue. And then it has the ribbon. Can you see that texture? Like the, how do you pronounce that? Gross, gross grain ribbon? That's the kind of ribbon it is. And um, yeah, it basically ties at the shoulders so you could adjust. 
the length of it, and that is in great condition, and that is actually size 12, so great size. And then I got one pair of shoes there. These are size 9. They were $3. They're unbranded, but what a fun floral fabric print. No, they're not. They're I Heart. Do you guys, are you familiar with that? I Heart. It's I Heart something, but they're kind of like a tangerine orange with a eastern inspired print pointed toe stiletto heel i thought those were super cute for spring and then the last item i got at that location was a men's leather kind of patriotic hat this was two bucks and it has an eagle and i think that's like oh yeah the american flag black leather cap velcro closure it says 100 percent leather it's unbranded but for two bucks that's, I mean, it gives me Harley Davidson vibes. So that's what I got there. Again, $21.26 with Jay McLaughlin and Lily Pulitzer and J. Crew. I'm certain I'll make my money back on those items. So let's check out the next bunch of items that I got. Hold on here. Hey, before we go on to the other locations where I got things, I want to share something with you. So I bought this Lily Pulitzer Jana dress, size large, on Poshmark the other day. She had it, the seller had it priced at $30, which was more than reasonable. I just bought it outright. I didn't make an offer. So my total, I bought it right before the posh shipping rates went up. So it was $30 and $37 and 79 cents with tax and shipping. And I'm more than happy with it, but I've washed it because I mean, I would have washed it anyway. But when I opened it, it reeked of perfume. Like she had just hosed it down with perfume. I still gave her five stars because it's just as described, excepting for the scent. And I like it, and I will definitely wear it. But that being said, she put, also she had a nice little thank you card in there and a business card. But she gave me two gifts, and I want you guys to tell me if I'm wrong for this. I cannot use these items, but they're nice. One is a silver and gold dolphin pin, and I can't use that, so I plan to post it for sale on Poshmark. Am I wrong for that? And she gave me another pin slash brooch. It's kind of a preppy bow that you would wear like on a preppy sweater or maybe at the holidays. Um, so yeah, both of those were a gift with purchase and I cannot use those gifts. So I'm going to post them for sale on Poshmark. Let me know if I'm wrong for that, okay? I, I feel like I'm not. They're mine. She gave them to me, but I feel bad also. Like she probably should have just sold them herself, but that's her business model. So I'm not going to get too wrapped up in it. And then lastly, I just want to say really quick, that shoe insert that I showed you in the previous, um, just the segment before this, I will link down below uh, on Amazon what I got if you're interested in that. So, okay. The next location I went was my Brunswick, Georgia honey hole that I don't tell the name of, but I spent $31.80 there. I got this bracelet for myself and that was $3.00. It says love, faith, love, faith, hope, repeatedly in like a silver, copper, and gold. And then I got for myself a pair of leggings that were $4. So that's $7 of the $31.80 was on me. So 11 my so $24 is going to be my cost of goods on this. But these are just a pair of blue, stretchy, comfy knit leggings. And a lot of times under my... Uh, Lily puts her dresses, I'll wear leggings. So those were for me, again, $4.00. Then I found this Eileen Fisher black t-shirt dress that is size medium and that was priced at four dollars. Uh, it does have some light wash wear but I think that will be fine. This is H&M and I always swear off H&M. I swear I'm not going to pick up H&M because it doesn't sell no matter how cute it is. But this just screamed oh my goodness Jackie O. Jackie Kennedy. Oh what's that? Oh there. So it's just a tweed pink with gold buttons, slightly cropped length blazer. Um, that actually set me back five bucks and it is, it's a larger size, so it's size extra, extra large. So it's right on time for spring. Hopefully I can move that. I thought it was really cute. I mean, I could probably wear it myself, but uh, just wish me luck on that HMM. Um, I don't know why I picked it up. This brand is Savannah Jane, it's size 1X. It's a tunic. And it has gold sequin on the front with gold floral embroidery, cap sleeves. Like I said, size 1X, a good size. That was six. I'm probably going to price that at about 35. I did look at comps on this one and they were okay depending on the piece, but 
I'm going to price it at 35 This, I thought, would be nice for St. Patrick's Day. It's a green, 100% uh, pure new wool cardigan made in Ireland. And it has these brown buttons. It is size small. It was $8. But if I hurry up and get this posted, hopefully someone will want that for St. Patty's. It's the cable knit, which is really a thing right now. So it's an, I checked it over real thoroughly for holes. I didn't find any holes. But how cute is that? And that it's made in Ireland, I thought that was a definite plus. And that is actually all that I got at that location. So $24 for four items. Does that sound right? After taxes, etc. Because those other two pieces were for me. So that's $6 a piece. Um, yeah, I'll have to take it. All right, let's look at the next location. Okay, my next location is my local... Honey hole that's very close to home and they have a great sale the last three days of the month and this is February so we were already getting there I went today and for these items I'm about to show you I paid $17.27 a dollar 28 of that was tax so uh, the first item I got was actually full price and I've eyeballed it the last three or four times I've been in their store but it's a beautiful set by Marsha Brander for components. It's size 10. And look at that blouse. Look at that color. Look at the detail on the button. It has a matching pleated skirt. I just, it caught my eye every time. The skirt is also a size 10. Sometimes I pick these up and I get them home and the size is different. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that was a beautiful one. It's kind of a wrap skirt. So that set was again $8.99 for that set before taxes. And then everything else I'm about to show you was on their dollar rack. So all these items were a dollar, a dollar oh eight with tax. This is a crown and ivy size large Nordic style mock turtleneck sweater, cream, bright coloring at the upper, great condition on that. I always sell crown and ivy. Some of the pieces take a while to move, but I have it readily available to me in Savannah, Georgia. I pick it up when I see it, if it's in decent condition, and it always sells. This is a Not Your Daughter's Jeans navy blue linen tunic, size 1X. It has a little bit of detail there. But I've sold Not Your Daughter Jeans jeans. I've not sold a top by them before, but I thought this was very in season. It has those snaps at the wrist um great condition this is talbots and you know i was complaining the other day about how much talbots i had for sale in my closet and i'm like why am i picking this up it never sells and then i started actually looking back i do sell tal talbots it just doesn't sell fast so i'm going to keep picking it up but i probably have if i have 30 items 15 of them are sold and 15 of them are still for sale so um, i'm okay with that this is a cotton brown Blazer with buttons, new with tags, uh, size medium, and that was originally 108. So, I mean, I think this, although if you just look at it, it looks kind of dull, but imagine that with some brown riding blue, excuse me, brown riding boots or brown flats and some fitted black slacks or jeans and a crisp white shirt. I think that would be a really neat look. This is a Simply Southern animal print waffle knit top. Um, it's not my style at all, but Simply, Simply Southern, I apparently have lost my ability to pronunciate. Simply Southern, size medium. Simply Southern does bring traffic to my closet and it sells eventually. This is actually soft and brushed too, and it's in good condition. The next piece, I have no trouble selling more in Ralph Lauren. It's size small though but a ruffle accent flannel shirt in warm tones of sort of burgundy, pine green, and navy blue. Um, it's a lighter weight flannel, but it feels, I don't know if this has ever been washed. It feels really good. I wish it were a larger, larger size, but that's okay. Pharaoh, I actually did comps on this. I wasn't familiar with that brand. The comps were okay. For a dollar, I was willing to take the risk, but this is a neutral plaid print in gray, white, and black with uh, strappy ties at the shoulder and waist. And just a lightweight sort of crinkle finish maxi, and that is size small. 
And then the last item I got at that location is Rebecca Taylor, a tweed jacket with a black and blue marl. It looks mostly blue, but there's some darker blue or black undertones. But it has the fringe finish, just a preppy piece, basically. Um, it has zip closure, and that, again, is size 8. Great condition. So, yeah, that, all those items I got for $17.27, and then I went to a church sale. So, that I got a lot there. Let's look at that stuff. All right, y'all, we are coming in for the home stretch here. What I have left is from a church yard sale that I went to today where everything was half off. My total cost of goods here was $39. $39.50. So let's get right into it. I'm going to have to do two batches of this. If you've held on this long, we're on the home stretch now. Um, I've run out of hangers, so I have this batch here, and then I have another batch I need to hang up. But let's get looking at it. So this is a navy blue maxi. It has side pockets. It's stretchy. It's lightweight. I've worn this brand before. I like it. This is Zanana, or <laughs> Zanana Premium, and this is a size medium, and it has... Oh, no, it's a size extra large. Oh, I might have to keep that for myself. We'll see, but this is, um, I actually have this dress in tan. It's great for just lounging around. Kind of a jersey knit. Then the next item I got there, and on their pricing, it was like their dresses were $2.50, their swimsuits were a dollar, their purses were $1.50, their bottoms and tops, I think, were $2.00, but they had little old ladies at the register, and I had done one batch and run it to my car and then come back and shop some more. I mean, I don't know if they got the pricing right, but I'm all good with what I got for what I got. Uh, this is a Puma tennis skirt. It's actually, it has the shorts underneath, but just a pretty chartreuse blue, stretchy. Um, the brand is Puma, and that is size... They're going to make me work for it. Size large. Um, and that's in great condition. It feels like it's never been washed. Then I got a loft, size large, lightweight gray vest. Was it originally, well, it was marked down to 24, marked down, marked down to 34, marked down to 24, but it's new with tags. It's just a zip front gray, lightweight, casual vest. Then I got a Lucky Brand white polo shirt with cute pockets, size small, great condition. I don't typically pick up Lucky anymore, but... Because it was at that sale, it looked like a nice, that actually looks like a nice piece to me. This is Chico's design, which is vintage Chico's. Let me slow down. I am rushing. I'm trying to get through this, and I'm, <laughs> I'm talking like, a, like I'm trying to talk too much, which I am. I'm trying to get through this fast, y'all. Size 1, which is Chico's size medium, I think. But just a white knit sweater tank. Has a little bit of edging design there by the armholes. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Chico's design sells for me. I already mentioned that Chico's is one of the brands I always pick up. This was my key find of the day. This is a Diane von Furstenberg dress in white with gold trim. Beautiful, beautiful kind of a mesh finish, side tie, butterfly, and sort of wheat, wheat grain embroidery. Uh, that is size 8. But yeah, this was $2.50. I actually have trouble selling Diane von Furstenberg, and perhaps I have it priced too high, but I have, I think I have a dress or two for sale, and I've sold one, but I thought for the time of year, that was just a beautiful piece. This is one of my bread and butter brands. This is Banana Republic size 8, just a summer, longer, midi-length flounce, flounce hem sundress with spaghetti straps, adjustable, smocking accent at the upper back. I'm always happy to pick up Banana Republic and J. Crew. They always sell for me. This is a new with tag Chico's. It does have pet hair all over it, but it's like a wool vest with a snap front and a black vegan trim. It's in a sort of deep green, but um, I had another Chico's vest like this in purple that sold. It didn't have the trim like that. Let me make sure this is wool. It feels like wool. It feels itchy. Yep, it's wool. So, um, and that was new with tags. Originally priced, what says Chico's Outlet? And that's size 2, which is Chico's size large. 
This is another bread and butter Banana Republic size eight. Just another similar dress with the flounce hem, turquoise and black floral print. Easy to wear for summer, smocked upper. I think that's the exact same style as that other dress. This robe is from that, I think, Sam's Club. The brand is Members Mark. And it's just like a Sherpa gray and white robe. And it actually had the belt. You always have to check that when you're picking up with robes. But uh, definitely more for winter, but kind of a fun, very cozy, warm piece. So that is the first batch. Oh, no, I have more. Okay, I got three swimsuits there, and these were a dollar each. So this is Airy, and this is just an olive green plunge neckline, high-legged or high cutout legs. Plunge at the back, just a green one piece. Then this was a Target brand swimsuit, Exhilaration. The size is large. I don't usually pick up Exhilaration, but I thought that styling on the front was cute. Kind of embroidered, a slate blue. High cutout legs, and then the back has kind of a strappy detail cutout. And it was just a dollar, so, and again, size large. And this is a Nip Tuck, which I think is a good brand swimsuit. Nip Tuck Swim. I think I've sold one of those before. White with blue floral print, kind of uh, pin-up style chest cups. And that is size, it has adjustable straps. Oh, the size tag is cut out. Oh man, I hate that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out because it doesn't have a size tag. But I got those three swimsuits and then I got a handbag as well, Michael Kors. This was $1.50. It's in good condition, just kind of simple. I, I usually, let me tell you, I bought a batch of Michael Kors handbags from Shop Goodwill for $250. I've sold all of them except, except one, I think, and they've taken forever to sell, and some of them I'm barely clearing. They ended up costing me about $25 per, per bag. Some of them I've taken a loss on. Some of them I've barely made a profit on. So I don't pick that up anymore, but being that this was $1.50, and in good condition, I did pick it up. So let me get my second batch together. Hey, let's take a break and look at my death pile. So I have all this and there's stuff strung across this rack because I've run out of hanging room. So the hanging room on this rack is 100% utilized. I've got shoes on the ground. I've got a bin up underneath that that is full of clothing. I have a chair with items stacked. So yeah, that's my death pile and I've got a lot a lot condensed in there. So while I just went out and bought all the stuff I'm showing you today, this is also my death pile. How's y'all's death pile? Okay, this is the final batch. I am not feeling so great. I'm kind of warm and I didn't feel great yesterday, but um, this is the last batch. So let's have a look. I will say, so this is a puffer, breast, puffer vest, navy blue, J. Crew size large. Obviously going out of season. Oh, it has lined pockets. It's so warm, great condition. I will pick up things off season if the price is right. And this, I think their vests were $1.50, so I, kind of a no-brainer. And people are always traveling places, etc. So I did grab that. This is a halter dress. I think it's just by a boutique brand. But how fun is that print for, like, vacation? It has the smocked, the smocked upper. It is size large. Jordan Taylor, or maybe that's at a department store. I don't know, but just what fun, bright colors. How pretty is that? This next piece is Zara. It's a maxi dress in a black and cream, kind of a dipped neckline. Uh, that is also, I think that's size large. Uh, you know what, the tag? Oh, it's size medium. Hold on. <laughs> It's medium, black and cream, lightweight, stretchy. Maxi, maxi. I sell Zara, not super fast, but at the pricing, that was $2. This is a men's Wrangler flannel shirt. I know Wrangler was a thing for a while. I don't know if it is anymore. But uh, that is size extra large cotton flannel shirt. Red, white, and blue. And then I got this. Bell, it says Bell, Brad, excuse me, 
Badgley Mishka. Is that a thing? I think that might be one of those. It's a Danny's brand. I don't know, but it's a, basically a shift dress with a little bit of flounce at the hem in orange, pink, and navy blue, sleeveless, rear zip, great condition, lined. That would have been $2.50. This dress is new with tag. It originally says 68, large neon coral candy stripe dress. It's kind of bandage style. It is bandage style. The brand is Sis Sis. Uh, looks like a hot orange and cream, strapless, new with tags, midi exposed gold zip. And then I got this. This is the last piece. Oh, y'all, I'm just seeing there's some deodorant. There's a mark on this J. Crew vest. I think I can clean that up, but it must be like a deodorant mark. Can you see that? Right there. Okay, and the final piece is Fredericks of Hollywood. It is a angled stripe sheer nightgown, size large. Well, it's so it's like angled stripes of sheer and not sheer, but it has, uh, you're kind of getting the effect of being able to see through it, but basically it's like that. Adjustable spaghetti straps, great condition. I don't have any problem selling Fredericks of Hollywood. I've probably sold six or so pieces from them. So all that that I just showed you in those two batches, I got for $39.50. I think that uh, Diane von Furstenberg alone will take care of that or nearly take care of that so the rest will be clear profit. So thank you so much if you hung out this long. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. It does mean a lot. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more contact. Con Please stay tuned for future content. All right, guys. Love you. See you soon. Bye.